Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question at two numbers of uh, part two. All right, so in this question, we're given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. So for example, let's just look at the input over here. So we have seven, two, four, three, and five, six, and four. So both of them represent a set of numbers. So the most significant digit comes first and each of their nodes contains a single digit add the two numbers and return it as a linked list. Okay, so uh, we have seven, two, four, and three. So in this case, seven over here would be the most significant digit and three would be the least significant digit. So what does that mean? So in simple words, that means that the number here is going to be seven, two, four, three. Well, in other words, 7,243. And this over here is gonna be 564. Okay, so you may assume that the two numbers do not contain any leading zeros except for the number zero itself. Okay, so let's just look at this uh, input over here. So like I said earlier, we have 7,243 and we have 564. So when you add those two numbers, you get an output of 7,807. Now, how do we actually end up outputting this? So what we wanna do is we wanna output this as a linked list and it's gonna follow the same rules with the largest or the most significant value coming first. So 7807, 7807. All right, so now let's see how we can actually do this kind of step by step. And yeah, all right, so the first step is we're given two linked lists, so linked list one, linked list two, and we need to convert that into a number. So let's convert this into a number. So how are you gonna do it? So it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll just show you how we do it for L1. So we will have a value and let's just call this our number. So this value is gonna start off at zero. So this over here is an integer, and another way to kind of say that is that it's a base 10 value. What that means is that the zeroth place is 10 to the power of zero multiplied by whatever value we have. The tenth place is 10 to the power of one, the hundredth place is 10 to the power of two, and so on and so forth. So kind of using that, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take our zero, and each time we're gonna multiply, sorry, not zero, the num, each time we're gonna multiply num by 10 and then we're gonna add whatever value we're on. So now we're gonna zero multiply by 10, which is both zero, and we're gonna add seven. So, so far our number is seven. So now we're gonna do seven multiplied by 10, which gives us 70, and to that we're going to add two, so giving us 72. So hopefully you understand how this is gonna work. So then by the end of it, you're gonna get 7,243, and for this you're going to end up getting 564. All right, so these are our two numbers. So now what we will need to do is we need to find the sum of it. And well, finding the sum is pretty simple. We're just gonna end up adding them. So since we're just adding them, this over here is actually going to have a value 7,807. So 7,807. All right, so here it gets a little bit tricky. So now the question is, how do we actually end up uh, outputting this? So in simple words, it's just gonna be seven pointing to eight, pointing to zero, pointing to seven, right? In a linked list. But how exactly do you do that? So now we want to get each of these numbers. So one thing that we could do is uh, we can kind of separate these numbers and get each of the number itself. How do you do that? So what you would do is you would each time you would divide it or you would do perform the modular operation by 10. So what that does, so 7807 mod 10 would give us the number 7. And after we get the number 7, that gives us the first digit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide 7807 divided by 10 and take only the integer value. We're going to uh, kind of skip or not talk about or ignore the decimal value. So now we have 7807 divided by 10, which is 780.7, and we're just going to take it as 780. Okay, so now again, we're going to 780 mod 10. So this gives us the next digit, which is zero. Then we're going to end up with 78, and that's going to give us eight, and then we're going to get seven, and that's how we end up getting all our numbers. But now the problem with this is how exactly do you add it to our linked list? So uh, we have 7087, and if you add it in, uh, if you end up adding it in that order, you get seven pointing to zero, pointing to eight, pointing to seven. And the number that we end up getting is 7087, but the actual number that we're looking for is 7807. So obviously these are not the same thing. So what we're gonna do, end up doing, uh, one thing that we could do pretty simply is over here, we have 7087, and we're just going to end up reversing it. So in other words, uh, the 7087 is now gonna be seven pointing to eight, pointing to zero, pointing to seven. 
we just reverse it and that actually ends up giving us our answer which is 7807. Okay, and we will see one more way which I actually found uh, and it's pretty clever uh, how they did it so I'll just show you that method as well. But for now, let's just stick with this. Okay, so let's see how we can do this in code and yeah. Alright, so we're going to start off by finding out the two numbers. So let's just define them as number 1 and number 2. They're both going to start off with the value of 0 and let's just start off with finding the first number. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll go inside of the first linked list, which is L1, and we're going to do while L1. What that means is we're going to stay inside of this linked list as long as we're not on the very ending. And we're going to stop at that point because the very ending is going to have a value of none. Okay, so over here, we're going to change our num1 value. So num1 is now going to be equal to num1 multiplied by 10. And after that, we're going to add it with whatever value we're currently on. And to do that, we can just do l1.val, all right? Now, each time we need to kind of move our pointer to the right by one bit. So to do that, we can just do l1 is equal to l1.next. So you can just imagine that we're starting off at the head and then each time we're moving to the right. And once we reach the very ending, we're not going to go inside of this statement because while l1 is not going to be true. So now we have the first number and all we need to do is we need to do the same thing, but instead we want to do it for the second number. So I'll just be changing all of the ones over here. So instead of while L1, we'll do uh, while L2. And instead of L1, we'll be referring to L2, right? So just change all of that to a two, basically. Okay, so we have that. And now we have the two numbers ready. So now let's find out the sum. And to do that, well, pretty simple. We do just do num1 plus num2. All right, perfect. Okay, so we got our sum right now. And now the goal or what we really need to be doing is we want to uh, convert it into a linked list. So this linked list over here is going to be the reverse of what we need. The leftmost value or the head node over here is going to be uh, the smallest, the least significant value. And the other side is going to be the most significant value. So we just need to reverse that later on. So we're going to start off by actually creating a dummy head. Okay, so let's just call this our head for now. And this over here is going to be, well, an object of the list node class. And it's going to have a value of zero. All right, so why exactly uh, are we doing this? So the reason we have a dummy head is because we can just add everything to be the next of it. And it's just going to make it a lot easier. And when we're returning it, we're just going to do return head dot next. Okay. So kind of keeping that in mind, we need to uh, store the head value. So to do that, I'll be storing it in a value called current. Okay. And the reason we're doing that is just so that we can refer to it later. Now, one more thing is that we're giving it a value of zero. So why are we giving it a value of zero? So the reason to that is right over here. So over here, we're going to check if the sum is equal to zero. So if the sum is zero, then we can uh, just directly return the head that we have. So in that case, we're just going to be returning head a list node zero. So yeah, we're done. Okay, but if that's not the case, well, we need to do some stuff and we need to add uh, onto our linked list. So uh, I'll just be copying it over because I think it's kind of repetitive. So um, this is what we have. So while the sum is greater than zero, each time we do that, we're going to keep going inside. In simple words, uh, until, so in this case, uh, we have 78, then we have 7, and then when you do 7 divided by 10, you get 0 0.7. And while 0 0.7, when you round it down, because that's what we're doing, is going to give us a value of 0, and while 0 is not greater than 0, obviously. So yeah, so in that case, we would not go inside of the while loop. So now we have head.next is equal to list node. Okay, so we're creating a list node object, and the value of it is going to be our sum mod 10 okay and i went over how we're getting that value and now what we need to do is we need to change the head pointer so head is equal to head dot next and simultaneously we're going to change our sum value so we're going to be doing integer division by 10 and the reason we're doing integer division is well we want an integer value and basically what it does it's always going to be rounding it down okay so we have this and uh now we have a linked list but now what we need to do is we need to reverse it so I'll just be copying over the code for how to do that. And then we'll explain, uh, uh, okay, and then I'll go over how we can do that. All right, so over here, we're gonna start off with a previous pointer because while we're reversing it, what we're really doing is we're storing what the previous pointer is. So in the very beginning, the previous pointer over here is going to be none. And the head value is going to be current.next. So now the question is, why is it current.next? So if you go up over here, Remember that current is just kind of like a pointer 
to tell us what the starting of the list node is. And like I said earlier, the starting uh, is going to be a value of zero. And that's just going to be a dummy head. So everything to the next of it is actually what is being counted. So that's what we're actually going to have. Head is going to be equal to current dot next. So now we're going to go inside of this uh, as long as our head value, uh, head has a value and it's not equal to none. So over here we have a next node and this over here is going to store the head dot next. And over here what we're going to do is we're going to have head dot next equal to the previous value. So it's just pointing to its reverse. And after we do that, the previous pointer is going to uh, equal to the head and the head is going to be equal to the next value. So literally all we're doing is reversing it step by step. So zero over here is going to be pointing to seven. The eight is going to point to uh, zero and the seven is going to end up pointing to eight. And writing this like this is the same as writing it as it is like this. So seven, then eight, then zero, then seven. Okay. So yeah, um, so this is one way you can do it. And if you submit it, it should get accepted. Okay, so the submission was accepted. So another way I actually found this uh, online. So what they did was pretty clever and uh, let's just kind of go to that directly. So how they did it was basically head.next is over here, right? So head.next equals to list node sum uh, mod 10. So we went over why that works and how that works. But one more thing that they ended up doing is they made the self.next value equal to whatever the current node over here is. So it is kind of confusing. So I'll just kind of draw it out to better explain it. So in this case, uh, we have 7807, right? So the first thing we're doing is where uh, we have a node, uh, which is zero, or let's just get rid of this. So 7807, and we're gonna have a dummy node with the value of zero. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna point this value over here to uh, the number seven. So while we are pointing it to the number seven, this over here is going to store the head.next value and it is also going to have the head.next next next value. So how exactly does this make sense? So basically what's going to happen now we have seven and now when we're about to add zero, what's going to happen is head.next already points to zero. So in this case, uh, what we're doing is head.next for zero is going to end up being the number zero itself. So we now have zero. And actually don't think of this as a zero, but just think of it as a dummy head. So we're pointing this to zero. And now this zero is automatically going to point to seven because head dot next equals zero. And we already defined that head dot next next is equal to seven. So that points over to seven. So now we have eight and it's going to do the same thing. Instead, what was going to happen is that head dot next over here is now going to be at zero. And so is head dot next next. All right, so basically all we did is head dot next equals to list node sum and we want to tell it what the next value is and well in this case the next value is just head dot next okay uh and now let's submit this oh actually we need to return a value as well so the value we're going to return is going to be our current dot next and one more thing that we would need to be doing is we need to get rid of uh, head equals to head dot next because basically we're not going to be moving the pointer each time the pointer is going to stay at the same value or at the dummy head the entire time, right? So uh, we're not changing the pointer. We're not moving it. So we can just get rid of this over here. So let's submit this and this should also get accepted. And as you can see, both the solutions were accepted. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.